Our next inductors are two musical greats. Paul Yandel is one of the most recognized guitar players of his time. Now, you've already heard the amazing drums of Jimmy Fadden. Please welcome them both to our stage. <laughs> How you doing, Paul? All right, Jimmy. Um, hey, can I take your order, please? <laughs> Celebrating 125 years as a family business, the Gretsch name is a testament to the spirit, passion, and determination of the people who lived and those who continue to carry on this legacy. However, we wouldn't be giving this award tonight had Fred Gretsch not fought so hard to buy back the family business from the Baldwin Piano Company. And let's face it, Jimmy, thank God Fred married Dinah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, without Dinah's business vision and tenacity, I think uh, we wouldn't have a business that's been propelled into this uh, current view of what Gretsch Industries are today. And I think what you have is something that's poised for another 125 years of business, and that's a family tradition. And I think that's what we're honoring here tonight. Gretsch music. Georgia Music, here at the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. It's that great Gretsch sound developed by four generations who built the business on a reputation for precision and quality. Fred Gretsch began learning the family business at a very early age. Before he was 10 years old, he was working part-time at the Gretsch Company's Brooklyn manufacturing plant. In 1965, Fred joined the company full-time, but two years later, Fred's uncle sold the family business to the Baldwin Piano Company. Fred vowed to one day buy the company back, which had been in the Gretsch family since 1883. In 1985, during a period of financial struggle within the Baldwin Company, Fred returned the Gretsch Company to family ownership. He soon moved operations to Savannah, Georgia, where the revitalized company began to offer new, vintage-styled Gretsch drums and classic Gretsch guitars. The success of the new products was immediate, and the Gretsch Company once again became a leading force in the musical instrument industry. An integral part of the Gretsch Company's success has been the visionary talent and technical skills of the company's chief financial officer, Dinah Gretsch. Dinah joined the company in 1979, bringing to the business her many years of experience in banking, credit bureau operation, and computer software design. Dinah positioned Gretsch as an industry leader in electronic business transactions and today handles the company's finances and much of its artist relations, including endorsement deals with some of the world's top drum and guitar artists. Fred and Dinah Gretsch have consistently supported a variety of music education initiatives through their Gretsch Foundation. They became early contributors to the Save the Music initiative of VH1. The Gretsch Foundation has created several scholarships in honor of the individuals who have used their talent to help Gretsch become the icon it is today. Celebrating 125 years as a family business, the Gretsch name is a testament to the spirit, passion, and determination of the people who lived and those who continue to carry on its legacy. From humble beginnings at a small Brooklyn, New York shop in 1883, Gretsch was built on a foundation of hard work and a dedication to making a quality professional product without sacrificing ideals. That vision continues to ring clear today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Mary Talent Pioneer Award winners, Dinah and Fred Gretsch.
have sat in that audience for years and never thought that I would be up here. And it is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Dr. Bailey and the Friends of Georgia Music. Lisa Love, the director of the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Joseph Johnson that we've worked with through the years that was the past curator at the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. And I especially want to thank all of the Georgia music educators. Without you, we wouldn't be in this room today. Keep up the great work. Thank you. It was so singular a marvel, so ambitious a feat, that the opening drew the president and a crowd of thousands. A leading mass national magazine said it stood poised to become our most durable monument. Some 125 years later, the Brooklyn Bridge remains a powerful symbol of engineering and imagination and a rever revered fixture in the landscape of the nation's largest city. Not far away, also in Brooklyn, in that same year, my great-grandfather realized an immigrant's dream and opened the Gretsch family business, making drums and string musical instruments. Dinah and I, as fourth-generation family members, continue that vision today with the added intention to enrich lives through participation in music. <clears throat> It's our aim to help every person and every company we touch enjoy the benefits of music. Thank you, the friends of Georgia Music, and to all here this evening for recognizing our efforts. We also wanted to say that we have our five children and nine of our 14 grandchildren here tonight, too. So thank you. Thank you.